When you first try to join the Nucleus, the Inquisitor sends you on a task of faith to drink from this spring. There is a small spring not far from here. Drink from it. Follow where it leads. You come back, we'll discuss you joining the faithful. When you drink from Adam's spring, this happens. <coughs> a figure appears out of the mist, begging you to follow. You follow her for some time and you pass all sorts of creatures that you can't kill. She says things like, Adam's will, follow me, and you hear random weeping in the fog. She leads you to this abandoned building filled with nuclear barrels and swarming with ghouls. Once you clear the ghouls and you enter the building, you find this terminal that's locking uh, this table on the inside. Now on this wall, you find the key to the terminal. Mother, and these are the periodic table of the elements, MO for molybdenum, which is element number 42, which is actually incorrectly listed as 99 here, TH for thorium, which is element 90, and ER for erbium, which is element 68. Together they spell mother, and then with that you can open the terminal. It's password. M O T H E R. Mother? Could that be the password? Once the door opens, you grab the mother icon. There we go. And that puts you outside of the vision. Uh, if you go back to where the ghostly figure, who by this time we now assume is mother, uh, where she was standing, she's completely gone. Now, after I finished this part of the quest, I was really confused. Who is this mother figure? Um, where does this play into Fallout lore? So you go all the way back to the Inquisitor and you give him the mother icon and this exchange happens. A woman led you to that icon? Adam above, you really did see her. The mother of the fog. The mother is a messenger from Adam, acts as a guide to those important to his plans and the future of this family. She's the one who led the first of us to this place. And if she revealed herself to you, then I'd say the path he's laying for you is clear. Most people believe she's some sort of spirit, a creature of the wilds, though a few claim she's just an old hermit. Regardless, our family wouldn't be here without her. If she figured in your vision, well, there are few signs clear you're meant to be one of us. So that's really interesting. We find out that some of the earliest founders of the Nucleus also saw the mother figure. That knowledge of this mother figure is widespread amongst many of the other people in the Nucleus, and that many of them wait their entire lives with the vain hope of meeting the mother figure. And yet you, a, uh, a random person from the Commonwealth, the very first time you drink from this spring, you have this vision. Now to my thinking, there's no way this ghostly figure could be a vision or hallucination, because so many people saw it. The very first founders of the Nucleus saw it. Talk of the figure is widespread among the Nucleus, and it's a, a predictable sight. They send you to the shrine in hopes that you not only survive drinking the water, but that you'll get this vision. So this is a predictable, a predictable thing that people can test, that people can see, and you indeed do see it. So that leaves us with two possibilities. The Inquisitor said that some people think it's a vision, or some people think that it's a hermit. Now, I've actually gone all over this island trying to find the hermit, and I can't find a shack with a hermit in it. I can't find anything like that. And it also doesn't explain why she was immune to taking uh, ballistic bullet damage when I tried firing at her during the vision. It also doesn't explain the, uh, the random vision animals that appeared and ran by during the hallucination. Um, so I'm a little confused. Who is Mother? Is she real? Is she some sort of mass hallucination that random people have at different moments in time and yet they hallucinate about the exact same person? Or is it a real figure? See, the, the trouble is that if it's a real figure, then Adam is real, right? Because 
Mother only appears at the behest of Adam to help guide his faithful into the fold. That would make her a supernatural being who could be at a number of different places at a number of times. It also means she can't age or die, so she could be a ghoul or some sort of supernatural being. Now, I love Far Harbor. This is just an amazing DLC, but I'm a little bummed that this entire storyline aspect of things was not well explained. After you finish the quest and you gain access to the nucleus, that's it. I mean, you show the mother icon to the lead guy and that and th that's about it. You don't hear from her again. You don't hear about her again. Nobody really mentions her again. And there's no other aspect of the story that sheds any more light onto who Mother is. I even tried doing a lot of research about this topic outside of the game. I went onto a variety of different wikis. I read a bunch of guides and nobody seems to have anything to say on who Mother is. So I leave it to you guys. Who do you think Mother is? Is she an apparition? Is she a vision? Is she a ghost? Is she some sort of supernatural being? Is she a ghoul hermit who just happens to notice every single time you drink from the water and then comes down to lead you to some sort of vision? Or is she some sort of figment of our imaginations? Let me know in the comments below who do you think Mother is? And uh, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel.